Hello and welcome back. This is video number three and I want to touch base on what things that you should avoid doing and this is going to be a pretty quick video but I think it's very important so that you don't make these mistakes. Because the reason being is a lot of times if you make these mistakes and you don't know that you're making these mistakes they can actually dramatically decrease your list conversions. So the reason why we need to cover this is because a lot of people after they have built their list wonder why in the world their list is not converting into sales or even actions. So obviously not planning a proper purpose. So a lot of people I see they tend to jump in, they're all excited, which is nothing wrong with that, but their excitement takes them over. They buy the autoresponder tool, they buy the lead page creator, and then they connect the two and then they let us sit. So after a while, they wonder why it's not converting because once you set this up, obviously you will still need to drive traffic. So it is a learning process to get from point A to point Z. But at the same time, this is a actual business. So if you are prepared to actually think of this as a real business, and something that you need to invest time and money into and that you're not going to make money right away, then you're going to be okay. And instead of thinking about the money, think about how many subscribers you can actually get on your list or and, and, rather than how many people instead of a thousand people, maybe you can get 50 people or a hundred people that are really, really excited about what you have to offer because 50 people, compared to 1,000 people that are watered down and that are not really interested versus 50 people or 100 people that are really, really interested and really will engage with you, I'd rather take the 100 people over the 1,000 people. And because the reason being is because 100 passionate people are going to be much more powerful, they're much more engaged, they are more likely going to buy your stuff than the 1,000 people who are not sure. So that's why planning your purpose is so important. So obviously we watched that in video number two, as long as you do that and you do your part to actually map it out, plan it out properly, you will be able to have a base to succeed. So having that mind map, for example, you can always refer back to it later down the road. So let's say a few months later, you have access to that map. You can say, oh, okay. So I spent an hour, I was able to figure out, okay, these are products that I can promote or these are products that I could potentially create because a lot of times people create the list, they let it sit and then they realize, okay, what do I promote? You know, so planning is crucial. Number two, not emailing your list on a consistent frequency. So obviously you need to email your list on a consistent frequency just to say, Hey, what's up? Uh, this is what's going on in my life. You know, this, I felt like this would help you. So emailing your list on a consistent basis, maybe every week you can do every day. And even though that might be excessive, that is not always the, always the case. If people want to hear from you like a friend, they're going to want to hear from you. But if all you're doing is selling, 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 they're more likely not going to really want to hear from you. So you want to balance it out with both sales pitches and also actually helping your list. So like I said, only emailing your list for list promos, not tips or even hi or even hello. Uh, that's not a good thing. So in other words, you want to treat your list like a relationship versus cash. So do not treat your list like cash. Treat it like a relationship, but also treat it like, okay, I'm going to email you on a consistent basis. And also emailing your list unrelated things. So like I said, diabetes, natural treatment, for example, if I were to email them something totally unrelated, something that could harm them with diabetes, that's not a good thing. Uh, or even emailing them something related to like, you know, build your business or something like that, or uh, get a haircut. Uh, don't email them that because it's unrelated. It's not what they originally signed up for uh, because a lot of the reasons why they stay on your list is because you are emailing them valuable information. All right. So 
You want to do that because that will actually dramatically increase your conversions. Another thing you want to do is segment your list into specific desires or topics. So this is fine when it comes to topics because once you found your list purpose, so within diabetes natural treatment, for example, I might have diet only and I might have supplements only. So the further, further you can actually segment your list down to, the better, the more specific, the better. All right. So that's the basics as far as services and tools, not using an autoresponder service with high deliverability rates, which means that the email actually gets in to your subscribers inbox and not their spam folder. So that's why I recommend that you use third party autoresponder services. A lot of the self hosted autoresponder services, they rely on your you know server which is not really created to get emails delivered into your actual inbox so i'm going to recommend some services later on but you've got to really think about this uh, actually in this world nowadays the truth is that most emails land into people's same spam folders and if somebody gets the email into the spam folder, they're never going to see it. They're never going to buy from you. So you need to make sure that you have the right tools in place to help you with those deliverability rates. And of course, second of all, not using a good landing page creator. There are a lot of landing page creators out there. But you need to make sure that it integrates into your autoresponder service. Some do it automatically. Some you have to manually do. And we'll talk more about that later on. So obviously not using good sales copy on your landing page can also hurt you, meaning you have to have a good headline, you have to have a good hook, something to grab them in and want to actually sign up on your list. I've seen time and time again, people, like I said, buy autoresponders, get access to landing page creator, and then just plop the web form on there, put a headline and that's it. Uh, you have to look at different elements on the page. So with that said, let's move on to video number four.